BTBs! What up? Today I'm going to be blogging about a beer that I got from Ron of Beer Noob. And what he's done was, he's done a series of interviews with a bunch of beer reviewers on YouTube. And I was one of them. And uh, as thanks for interviewing me, uh, he was kind enough to send me a couple of beers by local breweries in his area in Baltimore. And I've never had beers in Maryland, straight up. So uh, I'm interested in trying this. And the beer I'm going to be trying is by Heavy Seas, or I, I believe their brewery is called Clipper City Brewing. And I'm going to be having their loose cannon. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know why I did that, I just, you know, Loose Cannon. Anyways, so Loose Cannon is their IPA. It says Hop Triple IPA, I don't know what that means, but I'm just guessing they just used three sets of hops in the 60 minute boiling. Uh, this is 7.25%, you know, medium high level for an IPA. Um, IPA, I don't know how bitter or hoppy it's going to be, but I'm interested in trying it. Um, I, I checked their website out, and it's, it's pretty cool. They kind of have this pirate thing going on. I think the next brewery should be doing a ninja kind of brewery, but it's pretty cool, the, the pirate kind of theme. And they have like three different kinds of sets of beers, whether it's like regular, seasonal. Um, but anyways, one, one of their, uh, their mutiny crew kind of thing, or I don't know if that's what it's called, uh, but it's one of their more heavier beers, so they'll have like heavy seas, you know, interesting play on words. And I kind of like their double IPA, it's called the the Big Dippa. <laughs> it's pretty cool, and it's like D-I-P-A, you know, you know, you get it, double IPA. So, yeah, I kind of like that name. So if I do like this IPA, I definitely would like to try their double IPA. So, anyways, here it goes. I, just, I don't think it has sediment. It's just a pretty clear colored beer. Uh, some decent... A fair, fair amount of carbonation clinging to the glass. Um, it's got a very nice clear color to it. It's orange, like a good orange color. Um, not much head. I, I tilted it as I usually like to. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty citrusy. Um, I'm guessing they use Cascade on this. Um, and it's, uh, it has some pine in it too as well, so it's it's got a good mixture. Uh, usually West Coast IPAs, it's like all citrus and bitter hoppiness, and East Coast generally it's piney. Pretty fruity too. It, it reminds me of uh, the Lagunitas IPA on tap. Um, although if you've seen my uh, Lagunitas IPA review, it's uh, I was kind of dis not disappointed, but it just wasn't as good at, from the bottle. And I've had it in the bottle before, but on tap it was definitely better. Yeah, it smells great. Uh, it smells some sweetness. Um, well, anyways, come fight, Ron, and thanks for the beer. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good IPA. That's really good. Um, wow, it's pretty fruity. Yeah, um, it's almost more fruity than the Lagunitas IPA on tap. Uh, yeah, this is... This is good. <laughs> I find it because of the sweetness, like uh, maybe a bit of tang too, tang fruit um, sweetness. That it's, it's very drinkable. It's, it's pretty drinkable for an IPA. I think. I think this beer would be good if some of you that don't like bitter but you want to still try IPAs. Uh, this may be a good one to step towards. Um, and it's not one of those like, it doesn't taste like, oh, it's, uh, it tastes like an IPA from a macro brewery, which I don't know if there is such thing. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Um, I, I would rate it uh, above average. It's definitely an uh, above average uh, IPA. I mean, it's not like, average being like, like five out of 10, something like that. But it's, it's, it's good. It's good for sure. I mean, I would, if this was at a party amongst a bunch of beers and I wanted an IPA, I would, I may choose this over other IPAs that I actually like. It depends on my mood, um, because this is pretty, it's on the sweet side. Uh, it's pretty enjoyable. Wait. <coughs> oh, yeah, there we go. It seems, it tastes like, like a, like, there's no bash against it, but it tastes like a really good homebrew, but there's a lot more of the malt ac extract that stayed in it. Uh, that, that's, that, that is my take on it. But it has the fruitiness and then the hop, hop from the hops, from that 
from the Cascadian hops that really gives it. Um, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's if if they continue on with this kind of interest uh, with the 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 Big Dipper, the Big Dipper, <laughs> their double IPA. Um, I I totally try it. I it, it tastes it does taste really good. Um, now, is it my favorite IPA? No, no, it's not my favorite. But you know, I have my own taste. Uh, I this is just my this is the subjective part of the blog here. Um, it is just my taste. I I may prefer more bitterness, but it's because I'm a hop head. But because I'm a hop head, uh, I am more critical. I guess you could say. And some pickiness will definitely seep into my thoughts on the beer. But even then, this is good. Uh, like I said, I would definitely choose this over some other IPAs that are out there. Yeah, you know, this this is good. I do enjoy it. I give it like a 6 out of 10, above average, whatever kind of rating. I usually don't do ratings. I just tell you. Try to be as objective as possible. Just tell you what I taste. Um, so anyways, this was the Loose Cannon IPA by... Heavy Seas, and uh, thanks so much Ron for sending it, and uh, guys I have one more beer by him that's coming up, a uh, little hint I'll give you, it's a red-ish ale, so look forward to that, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Come by!